Oh, well, 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 well. Hello there. Welcome back. You might have noticed that I took a little bit of damage to the head there. What actually ended up happening is, for some reason, I decided not to save when I ended the last episode. I just, uh, I just kind of fucked around and, you know, closed out without saving, so I had to redo the part in the last episode, basically. It went pretty much just as well as it did the last time, but you'll notice that there are a few uh, bodies hanging around where they weren't once before. But we can move on, and I believe these guys are Unetco troops, right? Yeah, they're Unetco troops. They so. sent us in to pick up the pieces. We've already searched the bodies and delivered the enemy munitions to the quartermaster. Oh, so that means I wouldn't be able to get any munitions off of those bodies. Alright. Ooh, flares. I don't really know what flares would be useful for, though. <clears throat> it kind of sucks, because, you know, I was trying to be non-lethal and all this shit, and then... These guys just fucking rush in here and fucking kill everybody. It feels bad. Ugh. I really dislike it. It's, it's bad taste in my mouth. So I actually, I guess, I am not entirely anti-NSF. I mean, these guys were just trying to deliver some vaccinations to actual people. We've got All the right. island secured. How did things look in the statue? The leader surrendered. So they were after Ambrosia. A month's supply for the East Coast. <clears throat> we think they've taken it back to the city. I didn't know Unatco handled the Ambrosia distribution. Manderley will brief us shortly. Unatco makes sure the limited supply of vaccine gets to government agencies and key industries. <laughs> it's good to finally see some action. Just keep a level head. You're doing well so far. Now get inside. I'll meet you in Manderley's office, level two. Okay. Another newspaper. Okay, Mead, Buck, Mead Bucks Congress, APR Washington, D.C. Defying Congress for the third time this year, President Mead unilaterally paid the United States late dues to the United Nations. Like good tenants, we must pay our rent on time, he told reporters. Leaders of both parties criticized the move. Where does he get the cash? Asked Senator Ryden D. Illinois. Clearly from some budget item yet to be approved by this Congress. The Republicans were no kinder. This council, or this council member has betrayed has been betrayed, and so has America," said Senator Osno, Liverpool, R. California. The Congress came together to approve a UNATCO presence on U.S. soil, but we did not write a blank check. No, sir, a superpower does not pay rent. All right, I guess. Way to go, sir. I thought Gunther <clears throat> was a goner. I'm Wait, pretty sure you're fine. What? Am I not allowed to take that? Data cube. Ammunition is disappearing again. It's my again. first day too. I'm pretty excited. So we're doing. Oh, I I could have gotten that code and I wouldn't have had to use a fucking multi tool. Wow, I'm a moron. All right. <clears throat> Check in with Manderley on level two. Sure thing. Oh, I forgot the music. Yes. I need some water. I also need to look at my reflection. Yeah, work that hand. Work that water, work that hand. Work it all around in sand. I don't know what the fuck Come I'm saying. In. The retinal scanner can read blood vessel patterns right through your sunglasses. That's... Alright. Interesting. Cannot get through that door. Incoming transmission. Remember that Mr. Manderley wants to see you. Level 2. His secretary, Janice Reed, has your login and password. Login and we password? We finally got the hell of a first day. Ah, I'd say. Oh, so I would have to break in here. But there's a... There's a thing there. Damn, I want in there. I don't really want to break and entering, but... It's very tempting. Uh, I do have a lockpick on me. Hmm. Alright, I'm going for it. I'm going for it. I'm going for it. I'm not sure if that's actually, like, not allowed, or... 
if I'm just being way too cautious for my own good. <clears throat> Probably so long as they don't actually. The NSF won't try that trick again. I, I guess not. The NSF had so many people in New York. Yeah, they, they do. Apparently. Okay, so I also want to get into that door, but uh, this this buddy here looks like he's he's gonna guard it with his life. Actually, you know what? I'll just do a quick on-the-spot save, break out this lockpick, and do it right in front of him. He doesn't give a shit. Wonderful. Well then. <clears throat> By all means, I will steal. Modification, a book? Unatco handbook. These Unatco will often deal with situations that cannot easily be contained. Agents may unfortunately need to interact with the press. If you're not trained for such interaction, do not repeat, do not speak with journalists regarding, regardless of nationality. They are skilled in misdirection and propaganda. Refuse comment. Remember, security procedures are the first line of defense. Secrets are lives. Always refer per reporters at crime scenes to Unatco information officers and fact management teams. Alright. Ooh, what's that? Nano key. Office door key code. Okay. Midnight Sun, US Pres sells out. President Phillips Riley. Executive order repaying the United States United States debt to the United Nations. It is viewed by many as a positive step towards global peace, but others sense darker motives at work. Some sources have privately commented that the order is not Nothing more than a tacit endorsement of a new world government and its private military, the United Nations Anti-Terrorist Coalition. Few can forget Meade's impassioned declaration that the shattered st Statue of Liberty will not be repaired, but instead stands as a reminder that terrorism must be eradicated if we are to be free. It was shortly thereafter that Liberty Island was selected as the location of UNACO headquarters, their dubious charter, highlighted by the mysterious and still largely unexplained circumstances behind the statue bombing. No doubt, President Meade's words will be remembered, even as he sells out his country to the foreign powers that sought to destroy it for nearly three centuries? Okay. <clears throat> That's... Alright. Well, apparently, nationalist tensions are running high in this world. I guess I can understand and see that, but... I don't know. I can't give opinions. Actually, I guess I could. Doesn't really matter too much. So, I can... I'm not sure what I can use that nano key for. And there are a bunch of doors that are still locked, so... Oh! Incoming transmission? You found your office. That's... Did Janice give you your login? No. I guess not. Let's see. JCD, password, bionic man. Oh. Alright. That's cool, I guess. Bionic man. There we go. Okay. Uh, they've got a lot of stuff here. So I have to get used to calling you JC around the office. Not sure why they came up with that. <clears throat> Anyways, what are they calling you? It's good to see a familiar name on the roster. First job is to read. Has been to read up on your augments. We're gonna see why you found classes so easy. Every neuron in your head has been augmented. <laughs> For example, the voice in your head from an operator somewhere here at HQ uh, leaps fully formed right into your temporal lobe, bypassing the eardrum and its sensory neurons, and it's perfectly inaudible to everyone around you. Worse not to mention that the nanites clinging to your axons can both receive and transmit symbolic information, so if you ever need help, don't sweat it. Someone at HQ probably already knows. Come by if you want to hear more. This is great stuff. That's, that's scary. Uh... That's by the original metal. All right, well, I'm gonna, there's a lot of reading in this. So I'm gonna see if maybe I can just get the really important stuff. Not many that you just will often encounter stress created by resentment among fellow Asians. Yeah, that's, that's just, I don't think that's too important. <clears throat> Cardboard box, that's important. Boxes are very important. It must be destroyed. That's right. What if I accidentally threw out an EMP grenade? That would be so bad. Okay. Oh, geez, what's this? Your partner for the next assignment, Anna Navarra, is in the adjoining break room to the east. Maybe you should introduce yourself. Some darts. <clears throat> Can I 
go through here. Unlocked, yes. Uh, pinball? Cool. I like it. Alright. Apparently vases don't break. Are you sure you pressed the right button? <clears throat> I do not make mistakes of that kind. Your hand might have slipped. No, I wanted orange. It gave me lemon lime. <laughs> the machine would not make a mistake. It's the maintenance man. He knows I like orange. I need to eat some of these. Get myself some health. <laughs> Drinking some 40s. Oh god, that's actually going to make me drunk. I forget this too much. Uh, can I use this augmentation canister? And add microfiber combat. Uh, can only be installed with the help of a med bot. Alright, so I can't do that right now. Oh god! The staff oh god! Kind of plot. Yes, they do that on purpose. That's... That's... Alright. Cool. Oh! Yeah, here's a whole bunch of public news. You can kind of, like, follow even what you've been doing. It's really, uh... Pretty intricate. I like it. Ah. Uh, the UN has declared war on the NSF. Alright. Silhouette. There's a lot of stuff. My new partner, oh, hello. JC Benton. Don't tell me you're going to wear those sunglasses during a night operation. My vision is augmented. Yeah, no shit. to look good than to have the distractions of another agent who needs backup. Forgive my interruption. I just wanted to say that I look forward to working with you, Agent Navarra. Now, if you'll excuse me, I've got to be briefed by Mr. Manderley. I do not expect you to perform as well as Agent Herman, but the mission will require us to do more than frighten the NSF with our baggy coats that make us look bigger than we really are. I am okay. prepared to perform my duties. For instance, not to be a man running into enemy lines without coordinated military assault. No problem. Alright. Oh god, that takes credits. Chunk of honey. Alright. How many credits do I have, actually? I have no idea. Uh, 638. Alright, I guess that's something. Uh, I'm not sure if I want to break into that terminal. Because if I find some information... Oh, here we go. Mead from Mars? NASA scientists... Hmm. What? Oh, jeez. Uh... Meat is not human. It's probably a Martian general, a war hero, coming here to conquer Earth with the assistance of the United Nations. <laughs> Alright, that's obviously a satirical newspaper. God, I didn't even know that- I, I didn't know that this thing- or this game even predicted the onion. Uh, I'll take that. Hi. Good work out there, Mr. Denton. Mr. Mandalay said you handled yourself nicely. Welcome to UNATCO HQ. Our little family keeps getting bigger. Mr. Right. Manderley available. Yes, go right in. <clears throat> By the way, your computer account is ready. Log in JCD. Yeah, I already know Alex that. already told me. Yeah. Thanks. Two fifty skill points for walking into an office. Well, let's see if I can't upgrade any of my skills. Okay, so I've got two point two. Hmm. What? What would I want? Maybe electronics? Trained. The efficiency with which an agent bypasses security increases slightly. Hmm. What about computers? Uh, agent can hack ATMs. An agent achieves a moderate increase in detection countdowns and a moderate decrease in lockout times, as well as gaining the ability to control automated gun turrets. Oh. I kind of like that. I think, yeah, that's happening. All right, reporting so. to duty, sir. The man himself, splendid. Do you accept my apologies about the situation, topside. A refreshing change from the academy, sir. <laughs> Don't despise training, my boy. Even you would be worthless without the shaping touch of drills and studies. So the NSF took a shipment of the Ambrosia vaccine. 
give me a chopper and a pilot and I'll handle it. <laughs> I'm sure you could. Yes, indeed. But we're having your brother head up the recovery team. You'll work with Agent Anna Navarra. Why don't we meet when you've seen Jaime for a medical check? Jaime? Received your equipment from Sam Carter. You'll be briefed at that time. Yes, sir. So is that the end then? Er... Huh. News driver. Spend the... The, the med camp, the crime. and armory Another are student three. that she knows how to make a bomb? Okay. Daughter wears black. She has an occipital jack and we let her use it to play video I've games. I've got work to do. Uh. Alright. What? She will not be about that. This just got turned into a two-part recording. And this is actually just a little bit of an end part. I had to cut it out really quick because uh, my computer actually started playing someone's live stream. Even though I had it muted. So, you know. Always that good fun stuff. Anyways, I'll go ahead and see you guys next time. We'll go ahead and, I guess, do more talking around the station. Because, God, they love the fucking walkie and talkie shit. I mean, I know that the action in this game doesn't speed up too quickly. But, eh, it'll, it'll get there quick enough. And we already had a nice big action sequence. So now they need to lay out some of the storyline. I'm alright with that. I hope you're alright with that. I hope you like, share, subscribe, favorite... And do all of the social media things and helping me achieve my quest to become the internet's worst let's player ever. I will see you guys in the next episode. I don't know. Later!